right hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a review of the lovely rainbow high poppy rowan cheer doll um special thanks to mark benson for sending this to me he really did not have to send me a second doll but he did and of course i'm going to review it so if you would like to check out his website that will be down in the link in the description um so yes please check it out but anyway here she is this is actually my first ever cheer doll so i'm super excited for her um i'm using my ring light today so we're gonna get some really nice shots of her um but yeah here's poppy in her box I have a funny feeling this box would be a lot easier to open than the other boxes. Uh, it says, colour, style, looks so fly, we're the girls of Rainbow High. I don't think you can see that. but And then it has all the girls on the back. Um, I have to say, my favourite cheer doll so far that I've seen has to be Ruby. Although my series one ruby remains neglected because she's got a bit of wonkai um oh just hit myself with the box okay anyway quickly before i start though i want to actually show you guys something real quick because so as you know uh i got sunny last time and i did mention that i didn't like her fringe too much and if you're not on my social media then what the heck you should be following my social media just saying um but anyway i decided to customize sunny and i'm actually very happy with the results and here she is i actually took out her fringe a lot of people have done that because the fringe it was just too short it did not look good on her no matter what i did it kept sticking out as well so i just plucked it out with tweezers and she has this gorgeous long yellow hair so she's just rocking a high pony right now she's wearing her second outfit but i'm actually really loving sunny now that she doesn't have that horrible fringe i feel like i'll like the cheers sunny a bit more hopefully the fringe isn't as disappointing as the first sunny because i was not impressed right anyway i'm going to start unboxing her and i am going to be including the unboxing um because i actually think the unboxing is like the special part of the whole video so yeah i'll be including the unboxing so be right back um i think the reason why mark sent me poppy out of all the cheer dolls um i think he's been paying attention to my videos because or my social media at least because if you don't follow me on social media you should know that poppy out of all of my dolls right now poppy is my favorite because i don't know why like the first wave poppy like my poppy turned out really really nice really well um and she's absolutely stunning also let me let me know in the comments do you prefer me include the unboxing and have like a little chat while i'm doing it so that's her unfortunately with these boxes the downside is you're gonna have to rip it because it's so difficult to unbox yeah so poppy is my absolute favorite i thought it was going to be ruby because ruby is my first but i feel kind of bad because i've i've hardly touched ruby since i reviewed her i think well i have i've like washed her hair and changed her outfits and stuff like i don't neglect her but yeah, with Ruby, um, like she looked fine when I first got her, but then I realised that her eyes are a tad bit wonky, like she's got a bit of a derp face. And that just kind of put me off for a bit. So I'm going to have to, what I'm going to do is, because I don't like to, like me, me customising Sunny, like that was... A big step for me i don't usually customize my dolls i'm too scared to do it i don't have enough knowledge on it i do want to eventually customize a rainbow high doll to look like me 
so like I want a mini me in rainbow high form because I've seen a lot of other people do it and now I kind of want to do it anyway you get the point I'm not really a fan of my wave one ruby um I'm actually going to be rebuying ruby wave one ruby or series one ruby because uh she has a derp face and I want to get one that does not have a derp face because I you know obviously I want her to look to look awesome and all that good stuff but yeah sad day for ruby she's the only one of my dolls that are probably like kind of like eh, ratchet not the best looking um Okay. <laughs> right, let's get these out of her head. I have to say, I really like her bow already. Let me get these plastic things off of her and then we'll take a look at her. Okay, here she is out of the box and here's what she looks like. Let me give you a close up of her face. Her makeup is absolutely stunning. And a lot of people have been taking off like the face paint on the side here. It's actually really easy to like to take off, but I don't really want to do that. I want them to remain as they are. Okay, so these dolls do not come with a stand, unfortunately. So I am using my poppy stand. So she's over there, not using a stand. One thing I will say about this doll is I'm not sure what's going on with the lips here there's just like these dark sort of like creases i don't understand what's going on there however i am happy that this doll does not have them stupid white lines on their lips because i am not a fan of that at all i mean i feel like my poppy doll would just look so much better without those white lines like i think they're fading away now which i'm happy for it just looks so much better Anyway, um, so on the side here, she has a little hair clip that says sparkle. I think that looks so, so adorable. And then her bow here, it's supposed to be of her iconic, you know, butterfly theme. Uh, she has a lovely, lovely ponytail. Very, very gorgeous. It's actually quite soft and there's not as much product in it, but there's still fairly a bit of product in it. But, you know, I could just wash that. But maybe I won't because, to be fair, I haven't really washed Poppy's hair because I, you know, I love her so much and her hair wasn't even that bad. I'd say Sunny's hair was pretty bad <laughs> out of all my dolls. Uh, but yeah, so that's her face. Let me give you a little spin of her. So that's what she looks like. She also has these pompon, uh, pompons, pompons that cheerleaders use. Um, and honestly, like I've taken off all the elastic and stuff, and they do stay pretty well. On the back, they have like this little clip where they can hold it. So I'm assuming it would, you know, I'm assuming it would stay on pretty well. Okay, next thing is this t-shirt. It's pretty much just a footballer shirt and it has the words, or the numbers, sorry, 59. And then it says Rainbow High right there. The detail in it is awesome. It definitely does, in fact, fit like a football shirt. Then she has this really cute and simple orange skirt. It's like a slit there and it says Rainbow. It's orange, of course. And then she has the knee-high socks that both say rainbow on it. And then she has these amazing, amazing heels. There we go. So it says rainbow. Amazing. Overall, I think she has to be my favourite doll. I don't know who my favourite character is right now, like in the show. But I know that she is, in fact, my favourite doll at the current moment. And of course, they come with a comb. I have so many combs, I don't know what to do with. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and turn on that notification bell. 
for more content like this. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. Bye. Ooh.